Get ready to unlock all my juicy secrets for giving your giving. space that lavish and indulgent pamper feel every single day. Hi guys! Welcome to Sess Interiors. My name is Sess and I'm your minimalist designer, empty nester, wife, mom of two beautiful kids. And today I've got something really special for you. We're going to dive deep into the art of creating a luxurious hotel-like bedroom that's not just about extravagant spending but about creating a haven of comfort, style, and pure indulgence. Are you excited? Because I'm so excited. Can you tell? <laughs> so let's go! Let's start with the foundation of any luxurious space. Bedroom. The color palette. You know it's all about setting the mood. Instead of going for something too bold, opt for calming, neutral colors like soft beiges, taupes, even muted blues and greens. That's basically my foundation because of my surroundings. I have the water views, the blues, and the greens around me. So we are very happy with the color palette in our bedroom. It is so relaxing. We can't wait to go to bed every single night. It's like a luxurious bedroom, honestly. We love the hotel vibe, and that's why I've recreated as much as I can this bedroom. That feeling of staying in a five-star hotel. I tried. Let me know if you can feel that too, because we feel it every single time. Every time we enter the bedroom, even. Create that mood. When you open the door, when you come in, you feel relaxed instantly. Just lie on the bed, go on YouTube, watch my channel, <laughs> please subscribe. These tones create a serene ambiance that's perfect for relaxation. And of course, my all-time favorite is going with natural organic materials. Think solid wood furniture instead of those flimsy MDFs that won't stand the test of time, that won't last. Wood brings in a cozy textured vibe that instantly warms up your space. You can even find hidden gems at Goodwill, Facebook Marketplace, First Dips, if you can afford it. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> Creating that perfect Harmony between old and new, expensive and affordable. Oh, Etsy. Yeah, you can go to Etsy as well. But it's not just about wood. When it comes to textiles, think cotton, linen, silk for that soft, snuggly feel, even velvets. These materials add layers of comfort and luxury. Now, when it comes to bedding, don't cut corners. Invest in high-quality sheets that feel like a dream against your skin. Thread count matters, but so does the material. I personally love Egyptian cotton. It's smooth, breathable, and also luxurious. You can also go for at least 600 thread count. Add layers of plush pillows, throw pillows, cozy throw, and a duvet cover that's as soft as a cloud. Of course, I stick with my white on white bed sheets, but layering it with those colors and textures give that elevated look. Consider velvet or silk for a touch of opulence. Investing in lush drapes like velvet curtains can instantly elevate your bedroom style. Layering heavy blackout drapes with sheer panels not only adds a touch of luxury, but also provides practical light control. I mentioned in my last video that these aren't 100% linen. My bad, they are 100% linen and they're from Amazon. 
I am linking that down below again. So <laughs> they're very inexpensive. You know how curtains can be so expensive everywhere. If you have somebody who can customize it for you, then well and good. But I don't have that here. I went to Amazon. Perfect place to shop for curtains. Layer your window treatments. I already have the existing blind. Aesthetically, it looks nice. It's not the usual blinds that, you know, you see everywhere. I mean, <laughs> it's not the cheap ones, I must say. They block the heat of the sun in summer and they block the cold winter nights. Plus, it's movable. You can go, you can pull it up, you can pull it down any which way you want to. Mixing and matching materials. Try incorporating stones like marble or travertine. That's my go-to. Or anything that resonates with your design theme and style. It's a fantastic way to add depth and interest to your space. Mixing different textures can elevate the overall look of your bedroom. Oh, and speaking of materials, let's make a conscious effort to reduce plastics. Slowly but surely eliminate plastics from your furniture choices and when incorporating storage solutions. It's not just about style, it's about sustainability which is a big thing now and in the future. 2024 will be all about sustainability, biophilia, and making our planet a better place. It's going to be very big in 2024, not just in the bedroom, not just in the kitchen, if you've seen that video where I talked about biophilic design. I'm going to dig deeper on that in a separate video, so watch out for that. This brings me to my next tip, the easiest. No-brainer, no spending <laughs> included. The clutter and organize. This is the biggest secret to a truly luxurious bedroom and free too. Keep it clutter free. Invest in smart storage solutions that doubles as a furniture, a beautiful furniture and storage. Especially for small spaces like this condo. Ours is not as big. This bedroom is just enough for us to go with the basics in a bedroom. Bed, nightstands, vanity, an extra ottoman. If you have the space with storage solution, maybe an accent chair where you toss your clothes. <laughs> just like an elliptical when we had one, which we threw away already. It acted as a clothes rack. So get rid of those. If you're not using it or using it properly, <laughs> just get rid of it. <laughs> Cabinets, secret storage spots. If you have, I have something like that over there. I'll show it to you. It creates a more serene and elegant space. So consider beautiful Ottomans or benches, like I said, with storage bins underneath the beds. If your bed has a moderate height like we do, so I can hide stuff underneath my bed. Since I have a sleep number, when I put it up, I can store stuff, put it down, they're hidden. Even if they're underneath, again, go for the organic materials. Instead of those plastic bins, you can find a lot of options in Ikea, Walmart, Target, Amazon. That's where I put seasonal clothing, flip-flops if it's winter time. And I also have that tote bag from Burakai, which I decided to use as storage underneath my vanity. Since I lack drawers, cabinets in this vanity, I only have two drawers in it. I've realized that I can use all my totes. I have so many and this one is so perfect. I decided to put that tote bag where I can hide all my extra makeup, extra skincare, hair accessories, even my Dyson. I can put here, tuck them away while they're not in use. Since 
I don't like it out in the open. I don't like to see those things when I wake up. When I wake up. <laughs> and I can easily grab it, you know, whenever we want to go for a quick getaway, it's already there. That's where I also hide my quick getaway stuff. With those natural organic materials instead of plastics, even if they're hidden. You have that option. It's all up to you. I got this from Barakai and it looks casual but it's like an accent piece underneath that vanity. Giving that layered look. It's it's an extra storage. And so perhaps your closet is overflowing like mine. And I say mine alone because Mr. M occupies about an eighth of our wardrobe. <laughs> your clothes need a designated spot to be stored, preventing them from being strewn across the bed, the floor, the doorknob. Utilize whatever you already have to kick out the clutter, but keep it sleek and chic. We are curating here, not cramming. Quality over quantity, one fab piece over a million little things. Keep it simple, stylish, and oh so indulgent. Now let's talk about lighting. Ambient lighting is crucial for setting the mood. Add the beautiful chandelier or pendant lamps that exude elegance. Paired with nightstand lamps or wall sconces that offer a warm and inviting glow. Don't forget about adjustable lighting as well. Those options to create a different atmosphere depending on your mood. Incorporate a mix of at least three ambient and task lighting. It's time for some statement furniture pieces. Consider a luxurious upholstered headboard, bed frame, or a beautifully crafted nightstand. These items can become the focal point. It is the focal point in your bedroom because it's the biggest furniture. I would indulge in those items since those are not easily changeable. This thing is heavy and this is staying here forever since it's a big A heavy <laughs> piece. Can't even move it. It's staying there. Not just in this condo, not just in this bedroom, but in that spot because it's that heavy. We can't carry it. <laughs> These focal points in your bedroom adds character and style. When it comes to furniture, less is often more. We opted for a few statement pieces like a sleek dresser, vanity, a footbed ottoman, that's what I'm sitting on, nightstands, I'm in the market for another one, a cozy armchair where hmm, we throw clothes. <laughs> that might go. <laughs> that might go because uh, it's ending up like, um, again, like a um, clothes rack, which is not ideal. It's not advisable to put something like that in your bedroom if it's not serving its purpose. <laughs> so it forces you to put stuffs where it should go. Avoid elliptical accent chairs if you're not going to maintain the luxe look in your bedroom. Minimalism is your ally. This vibe. <gasps> Keep the space clutter-free and only include furniture that adds both functionality and style. The fourth wall is now installed as you can see. Now I'm ready to reveal the fourth wall <laughs> but I'm still finishing it up. Pre-primed finish and we decided to go with doors, regular doors actually. These are standard doors that you can, can use in your doorway. And we decided on two doors because we have the space anyway to fully open them. We just don't like the look of regular closet doors, accordion doors, or those bifold ones. I just don't like that look. I might paint it the same color, the exact same color as the wall. I might put that wallpaper on those doors. Hopefully I can do that. It's just a shaker door anyway, so there's no, no curves, no moldings whatsoever that will make it hard for me to put 
wallpaper or I might go with uh, padded fabric we'll see you'll see so watch out for that in the meantime I might just paint it for now that, since that's the easiest and fastest you can personalize your space with artwork and accessories that resonate with you your style your personality while maintaining a refined aesthetic again less is more a well-placed mirror can make your room look bigger and more elegant we chose an oversized minimalist mirror that was in the living room before that not only serves as a functional element but it also adds a touch of grandeur since it's very big it's an arch wide a mirror <laughs> and don't be afraid to add a piece of art that speaks to your soul it's all about creating an atmosphere that feels uniquely yours and yes i finally dragged mr m to best buy an unobtrusive inconspicuous samsung frame tv is now on that wall on my wall <laughs> and it doubles as a wall art which brings me to my next great tip embrace negative space it's all about leaving breathing room between your furniture your stuffs so your place doesn't look like a garage sale this vibe is all about elegance sophistication and cool design choices so negative space allows the eye to rest and appreciate the items that are present it acts as a canvas that enhances the focal points in the room so when negative space is applied the room feels deliberate carefully designed showcasing an understanding of balance and harmony it implies that every piece in the room has been thoughtfully placed rather than haphazardly scattered the last but not least and the least expensive way if you're not ready for the higher ticket upgrades that i mentioned decluttering and organization you can simply add fresh flowers scented candles diffusers oil burners what have you or even a beautiful tray with your favorite books accessories those details that make a big difference so make your, your room a full-on experience as well scents sound touch taste even but for calming aromas like lavender chamomile chamomile vanilla if that's your vibe of course layer it with ambient lighting it's all about indulgence so it's a full-on indulgence every single night creating a space that not only looks inviting but truly feels like a haven of comfort and luxury i hope you found inspiration and valuable insights to transform your space into a haven of comfort and elegance by embracing the principles of minimalism negative space natural materials and sensory experiences you have the tools to create a bedroom that transcends mere aesthetics becoming a place of rejuvenation and serenity remember every detail from the placement of the bed to the choice of materials and the ambiance that you create contributes to the overall experience as you embark on this design endeavor infuse your personal touch and let your bedroom reflect your unique style and personality. And hey, if you like this video, hit that subscribe button, spread the word, and let's build the community of stylish designers. Until next time, keep it classy, stay cozy, and may your dreams be as epic as your bedroom. Remember, style is what you make or break. My name is Cess. Please do check out my other videos 
on interior design, travels, lifestyle, and anything and everything in between, including fashion. Until the next one, thank you for stopping by. Love and light to all. Bye.